Sentinel-3 is an Earth observation satellite constellation developed by the European Space Agency as part of the Copernicus program. Copernicus, formerly Global Monitoring for Environment and Security, is the European program to establish a European capacity for Earth observation designed to provide European policy makers and public authorities with accurate and timely information to better manage the environment, and to understand and mitigate the effects of climate change. Topic. Overview On 14 April 2008, the European Space Agency and Thales Alenia Space signed a €305 million Euros contract to build the first GMES Sentinel-3 in its Cannes Mondeleu Space Centre. Bruno Berruti led the team that was responsible for delivering the Copernicus Sentinel-3 satellites from the drawing board into orbit. The satellite platform was delivered to France for final integration in 2013. The communications systems were completed by Thales Alenia Space Espana in early 2014. Sentinel 3A was subsequently launched on the 16th of February 2016 on a rocket vehicle from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome, located near Arkhangelsk, Russia. This first launch was followed by the launch of Sentinel 3B on the 25th of April 2018, also aboard a rocket. The Sentinel 3 mission's main objective is to measure sea surface topography, sea and land surface temperature and ocean and land surface color with accuracy in support of ocean forecasting systems and for environmental and climate monitoring. Sentinel 3 builds directly on the heritage pioneered by ERS-2 and Invisit satellites. Near real time data will be provided for ocean forecasting, sea ice charting, and maritime safety services on the state of the ocean surface, including surface temperature, marine ecosystems, water quality, and pollution monitoring. A pair of Sentinel 3 satellites will enable a short revisit time of less than two days for the OLCI instrument and less than one day for SLSTR at the equator. This will be achieved using both Sentinel-3A and Sentinel-3B satellites in conjunction. The satellite orbit provides a 27-day repeat for the topography package, with a four-day sub-cycle. <laughs> <laughs> objectives Mission objectives are Measure sea surface topography, sea surface height and significant wave height Measure ocean and land surface temperature Measure ocean and land surface color Monitor sea and land ice topography Sea water quality and pollution monitoring Inland water monitoring, including rivers and lakes Aid marine weather forecasting with acquired data Climate monitoring and modeling Land use change monitoring Forest cover mapping Fire detection Weather forecasting Measuring Earth's thermal radiation for atmospheric applications Mission characteristics Role – Earth observation satellite Launch mass – APPX, 1,150 kg Orbit – Sun synchronous Altitude 814 kilometers 506 miles Inclination 98.6 degrees Local time of descending node 10 a.m. Orbit cycle approximately 100 minutes Nominal duration 7 5 years Topic Instruments <inaudible> 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 Sentinel-3 will make use of multiple sensing instruments SLSTR sea and land surface temperature radiometer will determine global sea surface temperatures to an accuracy of better than 0.3 K 0.3 degrees Celsius, 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. It measures in nine spectral channels and two additional bands optimized for fire monitoring. The first six spectral bands cover the visible and near-infrared spectrum as well as the short-wave infrared spectrum, VNIR for bands 1 to 3, and SWIR for bands 4 to 6. 
These six bands have a spatial resolution of 500 meters (1,600 feet), while bands seven to nine, as well as the two additional bands, have a spatial resolution of one kilometer (0.6 miles). OLCI Ocean and Land Color Instrument is a medium resolution imaging spectrometer that uses five cameras to provide a wide field of view. The OLCI is an along track or push broom scanner, meaning that the sensor array is arranged perpendicular to the path of flight. This method essentially eliminates the scale distortion near the edge of an image that is common with a cross track or whisk broom scanners. OLCI has 21 spectral bands with wavelengths ranging from the optical to the near infrared. Bands vary in width from 2.5 nm to 40 nm, and serve a variety of different purposes, including measuring water vapor absorption, aerosol levels, and chlorophyll absorption. SLSTR and OLCI are optical instruments with an overlap of their swath path, allowing for new combined applications. This is currently the only sensor in space able to detect cyanobacteria. SRAL is the main topographic instrument to provide accurate topography measurements over sea ice, ice sheets, rivers and lakes. It uses dual-frequency Ku and C-band and is supported by a microwave radiometer for atmospheric correction and a Doris receiver for orbit positioning. Doris Doppler Orbitography and Radio Positioning Integrated by Satellite is a receiver for orbit positioning. MWR Microwave Radiometer will measure water vapor and cloud water content and the thermal radiation emitted by the Earth. The MWR sensor has a radiometric accuracy of 3.0 K, 3.0 degrees Celsius, 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit. LRR laser retroreflector will be used to accurately locate the satellite in orbit using a laser ranging system. When used in combination with SRAL, DORIS, MWR, they will acquire detailed topographic measurements of the ocean and inland water. GNSS Global Navigation Satellite System will provide precise orbit determination and can track multiple satellites simultaneously. Topic. Satellite operation and data flow Sentinel-3 is operated by the European Space Operation Centre and UMETSAT. The in-orbit operations for SENTIENTAL-3 are coordinated by UMETSAT in Darmstadt, Germany. This includes monitoring the health of the satellite and the instruments. UMETSAT also serves as the backup flight control centre. The ESA coordinates housekeeping telemetry and commands at the ground station in Kiruna, Sweden. In addition, the ESA operates AX Band Core Station in Svalbard, Norway. This station is responsible for receiving the data collected by Sentinel-3. The data is then analyzed by the Sentinel Collaborative Ground Segment and compiled into the Copernicus Space Component CSC. The CSC is an Earth observation program run by the ESA with the objective of providing high-quality continuous monitoring of the Earth. Applications The applications of Sentinel-3 are diverse. Using the collection of sensors on board Sentinel-3 is able to detect ocean and land temperature and color change. The Ocean and Land Color Instrument OLCI has a 300 meters (980 feet) resolution with 21 distinct bands allowing global coverage in less than 4 days. This sensor can then be used to by researchers to do water quality and land monitoring research. The satellite also has the ability to monitor the temperature of the sea, land and ice through the sea and land surface temperature radiometer SLSTR. Sentinel-3 also had the ability to detect changes in sea surface height and sea ice using the synthetic aperture radar altimeter and the microwave radiometer, two of the most complex sensors on the satellite. The observations acquired by the mission will be used to in conjunction with other ocean observing missions to contribute to the Global Ocean Observing System, GOES, which aims to create a permanent system of ocean observation. Ocean color and land reflectance data. C. Land and ice surface temperature 
Active fire and burnt area monitoring Sea surface topography data Gallery <laughs> <laughs>